What's up guys? Welcome to Travel Life Mom. I'm sitting in the van, obviously. <laughs> Let me show you guys what my van looks like during football season. Do you see all that? Yeah, that is all of the merch for the Cora Colt. I used the van as a mobile store during our season so parents and players can come and buy sweaters and stuff for the team. But yeah, it completely takes over the van. You see why I don't travel very much during football season. My van has multiple uses. So I thought I would make a quick video for you guys today because I found some old footage on my hard drive about when I made my window panelings. So let's start from the beginning. So when I first decided to travel more in my minivan, I knew I needed window covers or I wanted window covers. You don't need them, but I definitely wanted them. But from watching so many other van lifers on YouTube, I knew that I didn't want ones that I had to put up and down every single time I moved the vehicle. I didn't want to have to figure out where to store them. And I didn't want to have to put them up every single time I parked. So I had, and I also wanted a way to have a bug screen that can be put up and down on my windows so I could have it down if I wanted to have my windows open and not let the mosquitoes in. So my brain started going and I came up with the idea to make like a two panel window covering system that could be rolled up while in transit. If you guys haven't seen my van tour where I have the bunk beds in the, min in the minivan, uh, I'll put that link to that video in the description below. Uh, I show you how I actually like roll up the window coverings. So let's start from the beginning. So I had this idea in my head. So my next step was find somebody who can sew because I sure can't. Luckily my mother can sew. So of course I gave her a call and said, hey, I have this idea of what to do with window panels. Do you think you can sew them? And of course she was on board. So our first stop is we headed to my local fabric store called Fabricland. I knew I wanted to make the side of the panel that goes in, that faces into the van. I knew I wanted to make those out of outdoor furniture material because it's resistant to moisture and it's really sturdy. So I knew I wanted to make one panel off of that. I needed to get some Reflectix and I need to get some bug screen and I needed to get some trim. So of course, my mother and I headed to Fabricland. There were so many choices, but I decided on this pattern. Um, this color palette is one of my favorite color palettes. It was actually similar to the colors of my wedding. It's similar to the colors in my house. I love that color palette. So promptly, I found that, picked it out, bought, we just bought a few yards of bug screen. I didn't know how many yards I would need. And of course, if I have extra, that just, I could keep for a screen replacement if I ever needed it. So I think we got uh, two or three yards of, of the outdoor furniture screen and the bug screen. I did not get the Reflectix at Fabricland though. The Reflectix that are on my panels so you can see this is the reflectix that i have on my window panels this is actually those are actually window coverings from dollarama i don't know if you guys have dollarama in the states but it's like family dollar dollar tree is dollar store so they sell large window reflectix at dollarama so i just grabbed like i think i grabbed three three or four and we use those and we just cut those up to use as the panels for the window coverings. So once we got home, I got some bristle board at Dollarama. Bristle board is like, I think you guys call it poster board in the States. I'm not sure, but we call it bristle board here. So I grabbed that and I put it on the two back windows and the quarter panel windows. And I used a marker and traced around it to get the template for the window. So I brought the bristle board back inside and I cut out the template. And then I used that template to cut out the panels of the Reflectix and the outdoor furniture material. Now I cut the outdoor furniture material slightly larger than the template so that it could be folded over and look nice and trimmed and look pretty. So then once the panels were cut out, my mother got to work to sew 
I'll show you guys close up here. So you see, so she puts the Reflectix panel and the outdoor panel together and you can just see it's stitched along the outside. You see they're together. So just a simple stitch along all the outside. And then for the screen panel, because I wanted the ability to have the screen down, but the cover up so the screen can be down, but I can see out the window. We only attach the screen at the top. Then for the screen, to for it to look nice and kind of be a little sturdier, my mother sewed, um, you see, sewed a trim outline along the edges of the screen so that they're finished. And then she put the two panels together and just sewed the screen at the top. So the screen is only attached to the Reflectix layer at the top so you can see it can move freely on its own. It's just, they're two separate. So when I have this bug screen down, I can still roll up this Reflectix and have my screen down to keep the bugs out. Then we also put in two taps um, underneath so that when I roll the window panels, I can use those Velcro tabs to hold up the window covering when the screen is still down. And then you can also roll both up the window panel and the bug screen for when you're driving or traveling and you need to have both of them up. Then you can see I attach these heavy duty Velcro tabs all along the top. And then I super glued the Velcro tabs to the top here. And that's how it attaches to the van is just with those Velcro tabs. And that's pretty much it. That's my window panels. They've worked great. They've lasted. They stayed up um, in the van on all my trips. They're easy to roll up. And I like them. I'm definitely... I definitely like the design of them. Now, the only thing with them is I think I'm going to redo the panels because I think I want to change the pattern. I love the color palette of my panels, but the the pattern's very busy. And I think I want to go more chill vibe in the van when I redo it with the kit that I want to build for in the van. Maybe something a little more subdued, a little quieter. But yeah, and you guys know me, I always have to change things. Uh, I don't like things being static. I like change and I like making changes. Now, I never created a panel for the very rear window of the van. I just used one of those cheap Dollarama window coverings and I have Velcro. You see, I don't know if you can see it because of all the boxes. There is four Velcro strips glued onto my back window and that's how I attach my back window cover at night because I don't leave that up when I'm driving and for the front windows I don't use window panels for my front windows because I showed you guys before what do I do what I do with the curtains along the bungee cords because like I said I like having the front open but still have my windows covered so that's what I do because again I don't want to have to keep on taking curtain panels down. So with my bungee cord system for the front windows, I just have to pull the curtains back and I could drive. I don't have to worry about taking them down, which is for me easier. I just like to make things easy for myself. <laughs> Anyways, so what else have I been up to? My life has pretty much been football <laughs> for since September. So uh, this week is the city finals so football is coming to a close city finals and if we win city finals then we'll have two more games possibly three although i'll miss the last game because i'll be on a cruise <laughs> i don't know why i keep on booking cruises when my team is going to be competing in the provincial championships but i don't know why it keeps on working out that way but my family and i will be on a cruise you stay tuned to see where we're going and what ship we're going on but for now, I think I'm going to end this video here. It's just a quick video of what my window panels look like and how we made them. If anybody else is interested in possibly doing something like that, I thought it would be helpful to show people how I did it because I did have some people comment on my 
two or videos that they like the window panel so it's super simple to make them so i'm going to head back inside as you can see it's a pretty cold and rainy day here in northern ontario i do have a rainbow in front of me though which is nice uh but yeah we're definitely getting into the colder weather here in ontario so i'll go inside i'm gonna go cuddle up with georgie and charles and watch a movie make sure you guys like make sure you comment let me know do you like these window panels what would you do in your van on your windows and most importantly make sure you subscribe we're on the journey to 2000 subscribers we are slowly getting there but we're getting there so make sure you hit the subscribe button to help us out and in the meantime i'll see you in the next adventure guys bye